Good morning, everybody. It is a Savage Stacker. Thank you, everybody, for coming by my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate it. If I earn it today, I would really appreciate going down and hit that thumbs up and, uh, you know, the subscribe button and all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel, and it doesn't cost you anything. So if you learn a little something or you get inspired or whatever, yeah, go hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. It'd be highly appreciated. Okay, so recently I sold some metals, and once again, precious metals does what it is supposed to do. When... It is needed. I was able to sell an ounce of gold, of course. It sells itself. It's very easy. It's sellable. Very easy. And my son sold 50 ounces of silver to purchase his first vehicle. So, yay. Congratulations to him. Got his license. Got his first vehicle. I purchased a year straight of insurance. So, hopefully, he's set up for success and doesn't have to stress out on that stuff. And, uh and saves up money for next year because i'm only paying that once because that when you're when you're when you're under 18 and you buy insurance it is expensive and um especially when you gotta buy a full year so sold some metals to be able to take care of all that and uh when i went in the coin shop to sell that day he was waiting for me he was like it was my normal day to buy and he had just purchased thousands, and I mean thousands, of ounces of silver from one guy. One guy getting completely out of metals, sold some gold, sold some ounces, of, a couple thousand ounces of silver. And the guy was, you know, so he was a little cash poor, and I uh, was waiting for me to come and make a purchase. And uh, he was like, oh, good, you're in, and I have all this stuff I just purchased, and, and all this stuff that you like or looking for. And I said, well, today I'm selling for a car for my son or a truck and uh he was like oh right because they look forward to knowing people that come in um on the regular to uh to make that money but you know i had to sell and uh but i wasn't getting out of metals just because you sell a little bit does not mean that you have to get completely out of metals you know maybe you need a few hundred bucks or a thousand bucks you just use it as a bank account. You're pulling it out of the safe, and you're going down and getting yourself whatever you need. You know, whatever five hundred bucks, thousand bucks, whatever. And um, I went back and purchased whatever was left over after we did all those. Uh, you know, insurance, registration, title change, the vehicle itself. After all that, I had about 250 left over and um, went down there and purchased me one of these. He had a bunch of these in there. Whoever sold that couple thousand ounces of silver just purchased a lot of this stuff. This is a 991 cereal, so that's within the last year. A couple years ago was the 990, so, and a lot of stuff. I mean, he had bars that were that were dated 2023 i they were uh one of those saint helena bars he had some of those 2023s in there and uh this guy's had a lot of the stuff he just had purchased within the last year and sold a lot of it i don't know why he sold but he sold a lot and gold too and um so a lot of people still hurting out there and um, I just think it's a horrible time to be getting out of precious metals. I think they're going to do something great here in the near future. I don't think they're going to skyrocket and go to a million dollars an ounce like some people say. But once we get through 2024, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna, it's an election year, so of course they're going to lie about the economy and how great it is and all this stuff. And... I just, people are struggling right now. I've seen businesses close left and right. Uh, bank branches closing, businesses closing, Rite Aid, they close their doors. Every single one of them around here closed all their doors. There's a lot of places, big places that have been around for, for years and years and years and um, closing their doors. And I just don't see the economy doing great things right now so you know oil prices up gas prices up you know inflation and god the grocery store is ridiculous beef insane eggs out here where i'm at is a problem um they just had like a bird flu thing so they had to shut down a bunch of places 
So eggs are like through the roof right now and beef is crazy, milk's crazy, all the essentials, pretty crazy prices and I'm watching stuff go up. I haven't seen anything come down. Like occasionally you'll see something on sale and I try to buy a lot of it, but whatever, all this stuff going on, I, I just don't think it's a good time to be getting out of metals. Um, unless you need it for something, unless you're buying property or something like that. But man, I just don't see it being a great time to buy property right now either. Um, interest rates are super high and it's just not a great time. I see uh, the guy that was going to give me my loan for a house a couple of years ago. He is trying to trump up like as much business he can. And they have a new, it's a new uh, first time buyers program that's going on right now and uh, will they pay $150,000 of your down payment and not up to they just they pay that and um, trying to trump up you know people to uh, buy homes right now and they don't do that in times when it's good like when things are going good people got money they don't they don't just do that right when the housing market's great they don't just give you know hundred fifty thousand dollars for first-time buyers to buy a, a home up you know just up front and and I talked to them when I saw the email and it's apparently very easy to qualify so they don't do that stuff when the economy is doing great you know it just it doesn't happen so housing market business is closing it's a it's an election year the inflation it's not coming down, it's just catching up to their 2% target inflation rate over the last four years. So, you know, that's every year it comes down 2%, really, because it's supposed to go up 2%. So those numbers are not correct. We're not seeing it. Anything out there, it doesn't matter what it is, fuel, food, clothing, it's all up there. Everything's pretty expensive. So. I'm going to continue to stack and just keep on grinding away and I will use it as I need it. And so, and it just keeps on proving itself to be a good thing to do. I mean, is it this fail all 100% safe way to put your money in? Probably not. I mean, if you know how to invest in things and you're, you have a stomach for that, then by all means, that's, that's your gig, then, then do you. But for me, I would have never saved this much money in my life. And, uh, I use it as I need it. I, I knew, it. Like if I need $500 tomorrow, something happens, I need to put a down payment on something or pay something off, I can go down and spend, you know, not necessarily these bars, but, you know, dump 20 ounces real quick, which is nothing in the grand scheme of things, and go in, you know, purchase that or bail myself out or one of my kids or whatever, you know, and it's not going to break the bank. And five years ago, it wasn't that case. If I, if I, if something came up and I owed 500 bucks or a thousand bucks on something or a doctor bill or whatever it was, and uh, it would have really have hurt. It would have been like, I would have been like, man, I don't have it right now. But now it's nothing, you know? It's something, but it's just not going to affect us in a way as if we don't have the money. So against all odds here, you know, I grew up very, very poor and, uh, and now I'm kind of, I don't know if I'd say I'm rich, but ghetto rich. And, uh, only through stacking was I able to achieve that. There's no other, there's no other way. I don't think I would have done it. I don't think I would have ever been able to save up this much money doing it any other way. So yeah, was able to sell some metals the other day. Yeah, got the uh, kid his first vehicle, and now we're saving up for our daughters. And they're pretty close in age, so I got to save for them both at the same time, which is uh, you know going to be quite a bit. But that's okay. You know, they, I got five years for one and seven for another to uh, get them vehicles. I think we can knock a dent in it by the time they're ready to go. And uh, I'm going to keep stacking and keep saving some cash and just squirreling that stuff away and uh, hopefully by the time they're that age it's not a big deal we'll just go buy a vehicle you know go have go have fun go shop around and uh and who knows what the laws will be like by then for insurance and stuff but as of right now you gotta buy a full year and it is expensive and uh yeah so yep wasn't a big deal and it worked out great 
But if I wasn't stacking, wasn't putting away money, that would have been a huge problem. I would have never, I would have been like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. Go get a job, kid. You know, that was, that's, what, that's what they told me when I was young. And, um, yep. All right, I got all these 10-ounce bars here. What do you guys think about 10-ounce bars? Let's talk about that for a minute. 10 ounce bars are my favorite thing to stack. When I go buy five rounds or 10 rounds, I just, I don't feel like I'm putting a dent into the stack. And this is the newest acquisition from yesterday. And um, we had a few of these in there, quite a few of them actually. And uh, they were a dollar more per ounce than um, say the uh, Buffalo bars, right? Um, but still cheap, much cheaper than I paid these a couple years ago. And I like these bars. These bars are great. Probably one of the best 10 ounce bars on the market, in my opinion. Serialized, four nines fine, government minted. I mean, you can't get much more trustworthy than that. And uh, even like the Pamp Swiss or Sunshine or anything like that, they're not government minted. So, I mean, why not choose something that is government minted and and choose that as your favorite bar, right? I buy all kinds, obviously, but you know these aren't serialized. They're three nines fine, but they're a great bar. But they're usually quite expensive, you know. Um, some more government minted stuff right here, also by the Royal Mint. But these are very expensive. But again, not serialized so i wish stuff like this was serialized because it would just make it that much better i think but um as far as 10 ounce bars go i love 10 ounce bars it is my favorite size uh 100 ounce bars are cool you know i have a few of them they're not oh they're not faint of heart you know they're uh you know if you got big money if you got big money, yeah, 100 ounce bars are nice because you can just, they stack up nice and they, they sit in the safe real nice. And are usually very low premium, but for one, they're heavy and not everybody, not all the coin shops want to buy 10 100 ounce bars. They just don't, you know, that's just, you know, they don't have a market for it. Now, they'll buy one or two, no problem, no questions asked. I've seen it, I've sold a couple. No questions asked has gone in there and sold 100 ounce bars before, but that's one or two, right? They would prefer you come in there with 110 ounce bars than 10 100 ounce bars. And um, just, they just don't have a market for it. Not everybody's going in there looking for a 100 ounce bar. You know, they got a 100 ounce. Ingo Hard Bar, a W, poured bar. They've had over there for like two months. And every time I go in there, I'm all, got any bars? <laughs> and they pull that thing out every time. They're like, still got this, you know. They've been sitting on it for two months, you know. And um, I'm all, I want it, but I just don't got it right now, you know. Right now, while on uh, disability, I'm spending, you know, thousand bucks a month or, or every two weeks or whatever, but, uh, you know, I just don't got it like I normally do when I'm working. I could buy a 100-ounce bar, you know, once or twice a month, easy, but can't do it when I'm on disability. It's just not going to happen. So I go in there, buy a few 10-ounce bars and a, and a quarter ounce of gold or something a month, and, you know, that's usually most people. Most people can do that, you know, and... Um, so I think 10 ounce bars are the way to go because it's a good price point. The premiums are usually decent, um, and they've gotten very popular. So some of the more popular stuff, you know, Johnson Matthey, um, Royal Canadian Mint, uh, the Royal Mint, you know, things like the Sunshine Mint, some of these right here, some are, you know, there is different premiums across the board on them. And it used to not be so bad. When I first started stacking, unless it was a Johnson Matthew bar or an Englehard bar, there wasn't much of a premium on this other stuff. There just wasn't, you know? You go in there, buy a Royal Canadian Mint bar or Britannia, and it was 50 cents over, you know, what, what a Sunshine Mint bar was. But now they're 
couple bucks over and uh so the Johnson Matthew, they're like three or four over, right? And so they're very popular now. A lot of people are stacking 10 ounce bars and uh, I think it's a great thing. They're very, they store nice. I mean, they, they just stack up so well. Some of these are like stacker, like some of these, I got some of these in capsules and they're actually stacker capsules. They click in and they, well, not right now, apparently but they click in and then they don't pull apart, right? And they go in the safe real nice, they sit in there like that. But it also, that those take more room. And they're also adding cost to your silver, you know? But there are a few of them, like my first 10 ounce bar and Johnson Matthew bars. I like to put in those, those cases and uh, for a while there, I was buying cases for quite a few bars, but I quit. I just leave them in the plastic now. But, yeah, they, you know, some nice capsules in there. But if you got them just in their plastic or capsules or just bare, they, they stack up real nice. I mean, you can just stick them in your safe, and they don't take up as much room. They just stack real, real nice. You can just put them in there. Even if one's in a case and one's out of a case, they still stack up real nice. Nice and square, and you put them in your safe, and uh, pretty easy. Now, if you got rounds and tubes and all that, those tubes, they, uh, they, they take up quite a bit of space. So, like I can get a lot more 10 ounce bars in a box than I can um, tubes of eagles or tubes of rounds or whatever. So, especially stuff like this, like these, these stack up really nice as well. So they just sit over there and they just, they just stack up real, real nice. So they're great for space and plus a good solid 10 ounce bar. It feels good in hand. It is just, you got some heft to it, it feels nice. And if you show somebody one of these, like I brought a couple to work before, and I'm like, here, check that out. And they're like, what is this? And they're like, what is this? I'm like, that is a 10 ounce bar of silver right there, my friend. And they're like, wow, that's really cool. That's nice. And it, it makes people want to buy one. Now, if you throw them a one ounce round, right? You throw them a one ounce round, and you're like, here, check this out. And they're like, oh, what's that? I'm like, no, it's silver. They're like, oh, a silver coin? Silver dollar? I'm like, no, not a silver dollar. It's just silver. It's just a one ounce round. And they're like, oh. Well, that's cool, but they're not like totally intrigued, right? So you throw you throw a ten ounce bar at them, right? And they get that, and they feel that heft, and they just they just instantly are in awe. They're like, "Wow, that feels good, man! How do I get one of these?" A lot of times, I've had people, uh, you know, offer to buy one. I've sold quite a few to buddies at work and stuff because they're like, "Oh, I want to get one of those." How much are they? I'm like, "Well, about between two eighty to three hundred at the time at that time when I did sell them." And uh, they're like, I'll take one, I want one. But they won't buy any more silver. They just think they got one 10 ounce bar and they're, they're set for life, you know? But it just, and there's, plus all the designs, there's a lot of designs. A lot of people or a lot of companies make 10 ounce bars. So there's so many designs out there. Like if you look at the kilos, the kilos are usually cast or poured, and, you know, and they got a little basic stamp on them and there's no really designs to them, like one ounce bars, one ounce bars, and the in the in the art bars and all that stuff. There's just hundreds of thousands of different designs, and they're starting to get that way with ten ounce bars. And usually, a lot of these companies will make a, a ten ounce, um, you know, one ounce or whatever, a hundred ounce, a ten ounce, and a one ounce bar, and uh, and they do really well. They usually sell out quite fast, especially stuff like this, All right? There's the one ounce, the hundred ounce, and then this 10 ounce here. God, I would love to have had a hundred ounce of this. I still don't have a hundred ounce pressed bar. I really want the Johnson Matthew or even something that's a little newer. Uh, I don't really mind, but something with a little bit of a design to it would be pretty cool. But I mean, they're just, just the cool factor overall is, uh, you know, the size, the way they fit, adding 10 ounces at once, the premiums are great, and the different designs just kind of makes 10 ounce bars just the perfect thing for stacking. It's, it, to me, it's just the perfect thing. 
Now, if you're a prepper, and I am a bit of a prepper, 10 ounce bars probably are not your best best thing to buy. It just, period, they're not. Because you just, you know, they're not fractional. Now, if you are rich and you only stack 100 ounce bars, 10 ounce bars are fractional to you, right? But for a while, I had to get away from 10 ounce bars because I reached my goal of 100 10 ounce bars. And um, I was like, dude, if I ever have to sell any of this stuff or barter with it, like, what am I going to do with a 10 ounce bar? Cut it away, chip at it, hit it with some bolt cutters or something, you know, melt it. And um, so have you ever tried to melt a 10 ounce bar? I have. And it's very hard to do. I try to make shot out of a uh, Provident Metals in bar, a little pressed bar, and uh, had the, the triple barrel Daryl on the map gas and that thing, it took me forever to melt that thing. It just did not want to go. And then if it's windy outside, it kind of, you know, cools it off, so it, it was it was rough. And then you got shot, and then what are you going to do, right? Barter with that? Like, there's no stamps on it. There's no weight. There's no purity. Like, people trip out so if you're in the prepping realm of things i would stick to your constitutional stack uh <laughs> stacker <laughs> what up brother i would stick with your constitutional silver or one ounce rounds that's what i would do but as far as just stacking for the best premium cool factor overall just just easy resellable and easy to store 10 ounce bars for me are the way to go just it's the best I love them a lot. They're, they're, they are the perfect size silver for me. And, uh, and I'm going to stack more of them, you know. And I am going to be buying more rounds and more one-ounce and government-minted uh, one-ounce rounds and stuff like that. But for the most part, I just buy 10-ounce bars. That's just that's what I like. And uh, then I'll buy some rounds for a little while, then I'll go back to 10-ounce bars just to have some barterability with some of that stuff all right thank you everybody for coming by i truly appreciate it um trying to get out more content i've been this medication really has kicked me down into the dirt i just i'll have all this energy at the beginning of my videos and by the end i'm just kind of zoned out and um i can't wait to be done with this stuff it is it is beating me up really bad and uh so but I truly appreciate everybody hanging in there with me. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, go down there, hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. All right, here's the spiel. Thank you all for coming by. It is Savage Stacker. Remember to hit that bell icon so you get updated on your latest videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Savage Stacker's over and out.